Hey everyone, it's Tim from Lanosa Farm Specialty and Heirloom Livestock. Thanks for joining us again today. So we get a lot of questions about medication conversions, how to do the math to figure out how much medication we need to give our animals. So today I'm going to show you three different mathematical steps to take to figure out conversion of weight, to figure out conversion of milliliters, and talking about more complicated things such as milligrams per kilograms. So without further delay, let's get started. So let's talk about a weight-based conversion. So let's let you let's use the example that uh, we've got uh, LA two hundred, and we're told we need to give five milliliters per one hundred pounds of body weight, and so. How do we do this math? Well, there's a fairly simple way to do it, and it's gonna be, we're gonna do it in the same method we talked about before. We're first gonna make our line, and then we're gonna put what we know. So what we'll say that our, um, we'll say that our animal is, we'll say 145 pounds. So I'm trying to figure out how many milliliters do I need to give? I know I give five per hundred, but now my animal weighs 145, so what do I do? So the first thing I always wanna do is I wanna put the information that I know right here. So I'm gonna start off with 145 pounds. Then I'm gonna place my line. Now, I wanna keep my terms, my labels, diagonal from, a, from each other, and I'll show you why. Um, so we know that we're gonna do five milliliters of LA200 per 100 pounds. So I wanna put my pounds diagonal from there. So I'm gonna do 100 LBS. And then I know it's for every 100 pounds, it's five milliliters. So the reason that I wanna go opposite right here is because Anything that's diagonal from each other, anything that's opposite from each other, I can get rid of. So I'm left with milliliters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my calculator. I'm going to take 145 times 5. So I'm going to multiply across the top here. So 145 times 5. And then once I get that number, I'm going to divide by what's on the bottom. So let's break out our calculator here and see what we've got. So I'm gonna do 145 times five, and that's gonna give me 725. And now I need to divide by what's on the bottom. So I've got 100 down here on the bottom. So 725 divided by 100 equals 7.25. So, 725 divided by 100 equals 7.25. And my label that I have left is milliliters. So I just solved my problem. So I have a 145 pound animal. I'm supposed to give five milliliters per 100 pounds of LA200. So for a 145 pound animal, I am going to give 7.25 milliliters. And that's, you can use this for any type of example, any type of medication. So let's let's do another one. Let's take a look. Let's pretend we're doing a wormer. So, so this time let's use the example of using Dectamax. So we're gonna say today we're using Dectamax for worming. And Dectamax is given at a rate of one milliliter per 110 pounds of body weight. Now let's say that our animal, we're gonna say our animal is, let's say it's a hundred, let's give it a weird weight. Let's do 167 pounds. So again, we're gonna make our line. And we're gonna write down what we know. We know our animal is 167 pounds. 
place our horizontal, or pardon me, our vertical line. And now we put in the information that we know. So for 110 pounds, we give one milliliter. So again, I want my terms diagonal from each other. So I'm gonna do my 110 pounds. And then for every 110 pounds, I'm doing one milliliter. And again, I can, anything that's diagonal from each other, I can eliminate. So I'm gonna take 167 and I am going to multiply it by one, which is gonna give me 167. And then I have to divide by what's on the bottom. So multiply across the top and then divide by what's on the bottom. So let's take 167 and divide it by 110 and see what we get. So we'll do 167 divided by 110 equals 1.51. So this equals 1.5. And then because it's 5.1, I'm just going to round. I'm going to say 1.50 milliliters because that's my term that I have left. So 1.50 milliliters is my answer. So if I'm given Dectamax at a rate of one milliliter per 110 pounds of body weight, and our animal weighs 167 pounds, I need to give 1.5 milliliters. All right, so let's take a look at converting weight. So a lot of times you will see um, the medications are gonna be given in uh, kilograms. It's going to say you need to give so much per kilogram. So the, before we get into a more complicated problem, I want to show you how to figure weight based on uh, converting pounds to kilograms. And there's a little bit more information that you need to know. So how do I convert kilograms to pounds. Well, there's a formula that you need to know. And the thing that you need to know is that one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Now, it's not exactly 2.2, but that's rounded. This is what we usually use. And we have to have this information or we can't figure out are uh, we can't figure out what's going on so again we got to take what we know what do we know well we're going to weigh our animal and we're going to say that our animal we're going to say we have a big buck and our animal is going to be 241 pounds so that's a big boy and we need to convert those pounds to kilograms so what do we do again we start off with what we know we know we have 241 pounds. We're gonna place that there, do our horizontal line. We'll do our vertical line. And again, we want our terms opposite from each other, right? So I want pounds opposite, and I know for every 2.2 pounds, there's one kilogram. So now I do my math. 241, I multiply the top, and then whatever my answer is, I divide by what's on the bottom. 241 times one gives me 241, and I'm gonna divide by 2.2. So let's take 241 and divide by 2.2. So I'm gonna do 241 divided by 2.2, 109.54. So I'm just gonna say 109.5 equals 109.5. Again, I can get I can get rid of my like terms that are across from each other and then I have what I'm left with. So I'm left with kilograms. So the answer is if an animal weighs 241 pounds, that equals 109.5 kilograms. If you're not a member of our online forum, I would ask that you check it out. We have a lot of like-minded individuals on there that you can chat with and ask questions. Very friendly and very safe environment. You can find our forum on Facebook by doing a search for Lanessa Farms Tack Box. Also check out our website at www.lanessafarms.com. So 
sometimes you'll run into more complicated medications. And a lot of times when you get into more complicated medications, they're going to tell you, you need to give so many milligrams per kilogram of the animal. So let's say, for instance, I, I read my, I'm, this is not the actual dose. I'm just showing you this for the story problem. So let's say my LA 200 states, I need to give 17.5 milligram of LA 200 per one kilogram of body weight. So now I'm like, okay, what in the world? How do I, how do I do this? So the first thing I need to do is I need to do my kilograms for my animal. So this is going to be a three-step process. We're going to figure up, we're going to take our animal's pounds and we're going to convert it to kilogram. Then we're going to figure up how many milligrams we need total. And then we're going to figure up how many milliliters of LA 200 we need. So it's going to be a three-step process. So the first process is going to be converting my weight. So I'm going to say my animal equals, we'll say 125 pounds. So I need to convert my pounds to kilograms. And again, we know that 2.2 pounds equals one kilogram. That's something that you're just gonna have to remember. So I take what I know, I have 125 pounds. I make my horizontal line, make my vertical line. And again, I know for every 2.2 pounds, there is one kilogram. I can eliminate my like items, multiply across, get my answer, and then divide by the bottom. So 125 times one is going to equal 125. 125 divided by 2.2 equals 56.8. So my animal weighs 50 6.8 kilogram. All right, so now we are ready to rock and roll. I know I need to give 17.5 milligram per one kilogram. So this is rather simple. I am going to take 17.5 and I'm going to multiply it by 56. So I take, take what I know. My animal is 56.8 kilograms. And again, I know for every one kilogram, I need to give 17.5 milligram. I can eliminate my like items, multiply across the top and divide by the bottom. So 56.8 times 17.5, 56.8, whoops, times 17.5 equals 994. 994 divided by 1 is 994. And I have my label in milligrams. So now I know that my 56.8 kilogram animal needs to get 994 milligrams. So now the question becomes, how many milliliters is this? Well, this is where you're going to have to read your bottle. In the case of LA 200, LA 200, if you read the bottle, it's going to tell you the magic key there is 200. LA 200 is equal to 200 milligram per milliliter. And LA 300, just in case you're wondering, why they call them 300 and 200. LA 300 is 300 milligram per milliliter. This you uh, can figure out just by reading the label of your medication. It'll tell you how many milligram per milliliter is in there. So my LA 200 states I need 17.5 milligram per kilogram. I figured up my kilograms. I figured up how many milligrams I need. This is what I start with, 994 milligrams. This is what I know, so here we go. 
994 milligrams. Make my line, make my line. And I know there's 200 milligrams. I want to put them opposite of each other again. 200 milligram in one milliliter. I can eliminate my like items, multiply across, and divide by what's on the bottom. So 994 times one equals 994 divided by what's on the bottom, 200. So let's take 994 divided by 200. And what does that give me? 994 divided by 200 equals 4.97. We're gonna round that up to five. So it's 4.97, and we're just gonna round that up to five. Milliliters is what we're left with, so five milliliters. So that tells me that my 125 pound animal is going to receive five milliliters. Now, again, this is not the actual dosage for LA200. This is just me showing you how to do the math, how to go through the conversion of kilograms, how to go through the conversion of milliliters, how to go through the conversion of body weight and all of those things. So hopefully this helped. You can review this as we go. Um, you can always start back at the beginning. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to let us know. I'm Tim from Lanessa Farm Specialty and Heirloom Livestock. Thanks for joining us again today, and I look forward to seeing all of you again next time.